Okay, so we have the femur, and to tell whether or not this is the right side or the left side, first you want to um, locate this head of the femur, and it has to be towards your body, right? Because your, um, we mentioned earlier, your acetabulum, like this, it has to fit this way, right? So, this is the right femur, and just remember that this is the anterior view, and to tell whether or not this is anterior or this is, you notice the big difference, there's a huge um, groove here, whereas this is, there's a flat surface, this is the patellar surface where the um, patella, um, your kneecap would sit. So this is the head of the femur, and this is the neck. There's a little um, indentation here called the fovea. Um, this is the greater trochanter, the lesser trochanter. And um, over on this side, there should be a rough surface here around this area called the gluteal tuberosity where your butt muscle connects. And then there's um, a line that runs all the way down. This is the linea aspera. And we have the condyles. Since we've already determined that this is towards the body and this is the anterior view, this is the medial um, condyle and this is the lateral condyle. Towards your body, away from the body. And just above it, these are the epicondyles. Medial epicondyle, lateral epicondyle. Um, and epi means above, so that makes sense, right? You have epicondyles above the condyles, medial and lateral. And back here, this is the posterior view. This really um, deep groove is called the intercondylar fossa. Intercondylar because in between the condyles. So that's it for the femur. Quick review. Head of the femur, neck of the femur, greater trochanter, lesser trochanter, um, gluteal tuberosity, linear, uh, line, linea aspera, fovea, medial condyle, lateral condyle, medial epicondyle, lateral epicondyle, patellar surface, intercondylar fossa.